in the upper circle, Balthazar positions the king's chair in the middle of the upper balcony. Pan down to the auditorium, a number of seats are occupied by ghosts. Now, Viceroy, shall we see the tragedy of Sullivan, the Turkish emperor. Performed of pleasure by your son, the prince, my nephew, Don Lorenzo, and my niece. Who? El I and Geronimo are marshal, at whose request they deign to do it themselves. And these be our pastimes in the court of Spain. See, Viceroy, that is Balthazar, your son, that represents the Emperor Suleiman. Oh, well, he acts his amorous passion. Aye. Bell Imperia have told you that. That's because his mind runs all on Bell Imperia. <laughs> the page whispers in their ears, the king is in the wrong seat, not the throne that was prepared for him. They all get up again. On stage, Lorenzo enters and declaims in Italian. Here comes Lorenzo. Look upon the plot. Tell me, brother, what part plays he? On the balcony, Castile, studying the text, trips in the darkness as they change seats. On stage, Bel Imperia welcomes Balthazar's character in French. Geronimo plots with Balthazar in Greek. Geronimo approaches Lorenzo, makes great obeisance to him, and stabs him. Up close, we see the stabbing is real as red blood flows. Lorenzo struggles and tries to escape. Geronimo embraces him, pushes the knife further in. Angle on the ghost audience below, watching silently. Angle on Balthazar, on stage, thinking the play is going pretty well, striding up to Bel Imperia to embrace her. Angle on Bel Imperia, beckoning to him, speaking in French. Angle on Balthazar, flattering her in Latin. She stabs him in the throat, above his breastplate. He gives a satisfying scream. Ah! A death rattle <coughs> and screams about the stage, falling over with a crash. Angle on the Royal Gallery. Much applause from the gallery at Balthazar's performance. Angle on Geronimo, dropping Lorenzo's corpse, looking to Bel Imperia. No! But too late. Bel Imperia stabs herself with the other knife. She falls. The curtain falls. Geronimo stands among the corpses, cunningly arranged before the black crepe curtain. Well said. Oh, Marshal, why this was bravely done. But Bell Imperia played Poseidon well. The king rises. Everyone else does the same, keen to get down to the bar. Hmm. Well, this in earnest, Bell Imperia. You would be better to my son than so. But now, what follows for Geronimo? Marry, this follows. Here break we off our sundry languages, and thus conclude I in our vulgar tongue. Happy, you think, but bootless are your thoughts that this is fabulously counterfeit. Know, princes, know that I am Hieronimo, the hopeless father of a hapless son. Hieronimo pulls the black crepe screen down, revealing Horatio's decaying corpse arranged as a pieta. Behind it, a high scaffold and a dangling noose. Angle and the king and the viceroy talking about something else. Angle and Castile lighting their cigars. See here, my show. Look on this spectacle. Here lay my hope, and here my hope hath end. Here lay my heart, and here my heart was slain. Here lay my treasure, here my treasure lost. Here lay my bliss, and here my bliss bereft. But hope, heart, treasure, joy, and bliss, all fled, failed, died, yes, all decayed with this. The guests are leaving the balcony. No one listens to him. The ghost of Horatio appears on the stage and attempts to comfort Geronimo, but staring at the body, Geronimo is unaware. Isabella's ghost appears there too, the Count's victim. They murdered me that made these fatal marks. The cause was love whence grew this mortal hate. The hate, Lorenzo and young Balthazar. The love, my son to Bel Imperia. The king and the viceroy in Castile, with glasses of champagne to toast the actors, enter the lower hall. They approach the stage. Speak, Portuguese, whose loss resembles mine. If thou canst weep upon thy Balthazar, tis like I wailed for my Horatio, when mercilessly butchered up my boy in black dark night to pale, dim, cruel death. Angle on the Viceroy stepping up to see his son is really dead. And you, my lord, whose reconciled son marched in a net and thought himself unseen and rated me for brain sick lunacy. How can you brook our plague's catastrophe? Angle on Castile, discovering his son and daughter are both dead. Behind him, Geronimo mounts the scaffolding that is the only feature of the stage. Above the scaffold platform, a noose hangs. Poor Bel Imperium missed her part in this. For though the story says she should have died, 
Yet I, of kindness and of care for her, did otherwise determine of her end. And gentles, thus I end my play. Urge no more words. I have no more to say. He adjusts the noose around his neck, but the king, viceroy, and guards storm up the scaffolding to get him down. Angle on the ghost audience applauding. Angle on the viceroy struggling with Geronimo, pulling the rope from his neck. Oh, hearken, viceroy. Hold, Geronimo. Brother, my nephew and thy son are slain. We are betrayed. My brothers are slain. Speak, traitor. Stand, bloody Speak. Why hast thou butchered both my children thus? Why dost thou mock us, slave? Bring torches for Do, 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 and meantime I'll torture you. You had a son, as I take it, and your son should have been married to your daughter. Was not so? You had a son, too. He was my liege's nephew. He was proud and politic. And had he lived, he might have come to wear the crown of Spain. I think it was so. It was I that killed him. Look you, this same hand was it that stabbed his heart. Do you see this hand? For one ratio, if you ever knew him, my guiltless son was by Lorenzo slain. And by Lorenzo and that Balthazar am I at last revenged thoroughly, upon whose souls may heaven yet be revenged. You know, someone said, the world's a stage, and we must all play a part. Duke, you lied when you said you loved me, but I had no cause to doubt. And I tried to go on living your lives. I was afraid to be without you. Now oh, the stage is bare. I'm standing there with emptiness all around. And if he won't come back to me, well, you can bring the curtain down. Is your heart filled with pain? They won't come back again. Tell me, Duke, are you lonesome tonight? Be deaf, my senses, I can hear no more!